I miss Stephanie. I just have to put that out there. Okay. Rebel Kitty. What up, homies? The Eminem Show. I have Aerie watching me today. And it's so weird because I've never recorded in front of somebody before. So today, I'm going to do a food tag. What's your favorite breakfast? I like because of Aerie, actually. An everything bagel with cream cheese and tomato and salt. And I can't eat pepper, sadly, so I put oregano on it because I'm just that Italian. How do you drink your coffee? With a heck of a lot of sugar. You just a little bit of cream. Well, not cream. Half a cup. Favorite sandwich? Mmm. That's a tough one. Okay, coming from Jim Thorpe, I love Lambos. But I also really, really like like turkey, provolone, lettuce, tomato, oil and vinegar, and pickles on Italian bread, pressed. And I also really like my dad's sandwiches. I really, really miss his sandwiches. Super salad. I want to say soup just because I like soup more than salad. I only really like a couple of salad dressings, but I love a million different kinds of soup, especially my brother's soup. He makes really good soup. We're a very big family of cooks, if you can't tell. What's your favorite cookbook? Who uses cookbooks? Just throw the ingredients in. Bada bing, bada boom. Stop laughing at me. Bada bing, bada boom. Food. No more sweets or no more hearty foods? What are hearty foods? What are hearty foods? Sweets on a steak or a stew. Ooh. I don't know. I mean, I don't really live off of sweets, but I like a cupcake every once in a while. And I like, uh, I can't do it. Just take them both away if you make me suffer like that. <laughs> What's your favorite cuisine? Italian. Not only because I'm Italian, but Italian food is amazing. I don't know what that was. And your favorite food movie? Does Paul Blart count? He makes food puns. You are like a great meat. You make me feel stuffed with feelings. Okay, guess not. What's your most guilty pleasure? Doritos. I can eat an entire bag of just regular Doritos in one sitting. I love Doritos. What's your greatest inspiration source? My stomach. When I'm just like, man, I could go for a cupcake, I go make a batch of cupcakes. When I'm like, Man, I could go for soup. I ask Michael to make me soup. My stomach is my biggest influence in food. Cooking at home or going out for dinner? Ooh. I really like homemade meals, but every once in a while, you know, I like that Red Robin burger or like the Chinese buffet, because my family, we're Italian. We don't make Chinese food. We gotta have other people do that for us. I under low profile. Psh, low profile. McDonald's dollar menu, some of the best stuff out there. What's your favorite restaurant? There's this restaurant in North Jersey. Can't remember the name of it. But it's really good food. Yeah. I do my grocery shopping at my mother's. I send her my list and she goes grocery shopping. Mostly like ShopRite and Aldi's. Walmart for certain things. Sam's Club. Ooh, and we also have this new thingy where we get food from Five Star International. Look them up. Free publicity, friends. The tastiest food I've ever eaten. When I went to New Orleans, I had this crab meat and crawfish ravioli, and it was in like a pink sauce. That was the, oh, mm, that was so good. I wish I could go back just to eat that. What's your favorite cocktail? I'm 19, I don't drink. <laughs> Coffee with George Clooney or Huston Blumenthal. What the heck is Huston Blumenthal? Let's look him up. Oh, he's a cook. <laughs> well, he's British, so probably him, because I'll enjoy his voice better than George Clooney's. What should not be missing in your kitchen? Besides appliances, do not take my oregano or my garlic away. Or my salt, because I like oregano, garlic, and salt. What's your favorite snack? I really like brie and crackers, but since I'm not rich, pepperoni and cheese works too. The kind of cheese I really like for You're right. Good question. 
what food do you really dislike? Brussels sprouts, asparagus, and peas. I hate those things. Oh, and sweet potato. Nope, I don't like any of those. Favorite food blog? I don't know, but I should start one. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? This one night, Stephanie and I had a sleepover, and I don't know if we've talked about this on one of our videos, so if we have, I apologize for repeating. We went out and we bought ice cream. We each got a two liter bottle of soda. We got pepperoni, cream cheese, pickles, and green olives. We didn't eat it all together, but that was a weird food night. Like, that's, yeah, that was that. It's on your food bucket list. I want to try authentic Italian food because I've never been to Italy and I wonder if the food's actually as good as, you know, we make it. I couldn't live without garlic. I could not live without garlic. I love garlic on almost everything. Garlic is my favorite thing in the world. So that was the food vlog. I'm actually in public right now making this video, so I hope people were listening to me. If you are listening to me, watch the MS show. YouTube. We upload every Monday and Thursday, and sometimes Wednesdays. Yeah, this is not what I was planning on doing at all, but that's okay. And I tag Stephanie to do it. I don't know what that was, just ignore that. So if you're new to our channel, please subscribe and thank you for watching. And for everybody, give us a thumbs up and shoot us some comments. Let us know you like our videos and hopefully we will have a video up in like two weeks together because spring break, woo -woo. We might make extras, we might not. Depends on how the break goes. All right, that was the MS show. Get out of the hub.